Hello. Yo, yeah, what's sneaky. What's good, bro? Yo. What the fuck? I, what's I like, bracken? I feel like just a whole bunch of random stupid shit happened. Yo, what's up? Did, 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 why did they pick Vi against Ola? That was last pick Vi, right? Last pick Vi against. What, look at these champs, Sivir and Olaf. So who are you gonna ult? Only Syndra? You were never gonna ult. Yeah, you're literally never gonna ult Leona or Wukong. Bjergsen so, hates Vi. Yeah, weird. He literally right? hates Vi. It's so Vi. weird. Like of, of all the jungle picks that you could have picked, this like obviously there's a lot banned, right? But if I saw these two champs, Sivir and Olaf on the same comp, that's like one of the last picks that I would think to do. It's just you're really not gonna random. do much for sure. It's like only Cinder. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's like if you first pick Vi, those are probably the first two picks enemy team would lock in. Oh well, we'll see how it works. Maybe he knows something we don't. Cinder can just rush Zonia like second or third, and then she's safe too. The actions W is that always gets me. Do you like? I, I never move, remember he's a fucking stealth champ. Every time I fight against action, I get fucking caught off guard. The fact that he's just invisible. Mm. Yeah, I know. Me too. Have you, dude? I wonder if it. It probably just comes down to the fact they really want him to be like an action. Uh, wow. I actually just. <laughs> you know, you know, like Indiana Jones, uh, stereotype, type kind of character where he can, he can do everything. He's a hero. He can save the day. He can go stealth mode. Like. Oh, Takui's getting Bjergsen right now. Dude, that was such a huge overextension by Tiku. Yeah. Really play there. Team? Missing? Warped? Where's oh my, my jungler? God, I can't believe Tiku was disrespecting TL that badly, man. Disgusting. I really feel like Bjergsen and the rest of TL should have got all pro mid. I don't know why they gave it to JoJo. You know, True. of all splits, I feel I feel like JoJo deserved all pro for last split, but like this one, I feel I think there's an argument to me that someone else could have got it. I, I, I'm fine with him getting it, but he wasn't that impressive in this regular split, like see, summer split so far. Who should have got it then? TL. I don't know. Yeah, maybe like actually maybe fucking Bjerg. Like I I don't I don't actually I don't know who really? should have got it over him. Nah. Not Jensen. Jensen's been playing bad. Abadari's been playing bad. So really, yeah, I guess it's really just between JoJo and Bjergsen. Palif I actually think Palafox, there could be a real argument for him getting it over JoJo this split. Really? I think people people could think about last split, JoJo is playing insane, but this time, oh. not so much. Oh, that was a nice cleanse by Johnson. So clean. Is Kor in trouble at all, or is he totally fine? He's fine. Yeah, he's totally fine. Uh, actually, Aphelios gets fucking shit on by Leona. What is this? Pretty hard to dodge. Yeah. It's a 500 range AD carrier with no dash, and his damage kind of like... It's so situational that Leona just never really gets threatened by it. <laughs> I know on release, Aphelios' green gun gave him extra range. Yeah, it still, still does. does. Still gives yeah, I mean, uh, what I said wasn't wrong. God okay. damn it. What? Ah, uh, you're right. And smart. Thank you. What is that, bro? Yo, Hans, Ooh. chill, dude. That was cringe what you were doing. You got the combo. How did he just take such little damage from getting alley comboed? Because Johnson was a huge pussy there and wasn't ready to, co to follow. Mm. He's like standing off the creeps. He should get hit by sniper Q. And maybe a turret auto, or maybe even just send your ulti right there, just to chunk him one HP. I think it's worth. A fellow's ulti, honestly, in lane, you're never gonna kill anybody. You're just gonna get high value, whatever that means. So you're gonna heal yourself with the red one, or you're gonna do chunk damage. Mm. But I think you're never gonna kill people with it in lane. It's like too random. That's fair. Is it ever a threat though? Like, do you feel like you need it to like keep them from all inning you? Mm, not really. Not really. Maybe the, yeah. the red one is the red one's really good to just jerk off on. It's like he doesn't have cleanse, so now it's like, oh, if he gets full comboed, maybe the red one will save him. Mm -hmm. Heals like three hundred, but yeah, I just didn't know if it was like you, you want your like chakra multi to like have one v one potential. Oh, dude, I used to think the chakra multi was the coolest thing ever. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna get these chakras, and I'm gonna go fucking super saiyan psycho mode montage. 
No, it's actually dog shit. Like, it's never, it's almost never good. I, I really? can't remember the last time I've used it, and it was like insane. Huh. It's, the enemy it's team has to be off. playing like idiots, basically. They have to be like total bots and get hit by it, and then just like let you run them down. I don't know. It's just, it's too telegraphed, and it's not that, it just doesn't feel that good. There's like a rare scenario for it, but it's, it's hard to pull off. Well, when you like red gun into them and then you do the chakra multi and then you keep chasing them down. Yeah, I think I think it's more like they don't have flash and you do. Oh, I, like... I can see that. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Philip oh. solo kill. Let's go. Philip solo bolo. Actually, Thank just you. dude, what were you saying about Whippo? You said something Never about mind. him. Never mind, guys. Yo, one thing we didn't Never talk mind. about Philip. that I actually think is interesting is Philip's running Ignite. Like, I feel like you don't see that shit often at all. Like, a top laner is taking Ignite, but it's kind of kind of sick with it. Runs Ignite, Giga Chad. Doesn't get punished, doesn't get ganked. Gets the solo, solo kill. kills. I mean, Santorin did hover around top a bit, but just wasn't really any crazy windows. Okay, I think Philip should change his name to Felipe, and Jose should change his name to Joseph. Mm. <laughs> yeah. We're maxed out synergy next split. What the? My eyeball. Oh my eye! Oh, he autoed the turn. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, I, th I thought it looked like that. Like it's... Yeah, he did. He did. He also created all three cues there. How Whoa. lucky is that? Jesus. That is That's super so lucky. What RNG? the Wait, he doesn't Wait, even he have any crit. What the fuck? I think he's running fuck? a crit rune. Huh. No, it's it's the sweet spot. It just looks like a crit when you hit it on the sweet spot. It's There's actually not looking at all sneaky. Oh my god, dude. Should you go infinity edge? Cast no boots. Lol. Oh my god, Philip just casually <sighs> getting two ulties and a flash what? out. Holy that moly. Was he's Pilos the most Pislo. pathetic gank attempt ever. He just... <laughs> Eat away. <Just> pushy. <laughs> Is Philip insane? He's insano in the braino? I think so. Where were you when dude, I actually said Whippo was gonna gap Philip this series. I am so actually very happy to be wrong here. Eating Felipe. Shit. Yo, what? Oh! Yes, oh okay. wait. <laughs> I don't think that helped them at all, actually. Nope, it didn't. But wait. But it's wait. going FlyQuest way. Philip has blown okay. Core JJ's flash like, and um... ulti previously and Santorin's ulti, so it wasn't that bad. Wait. It's actually Philip Jose, no what was joke? that IQ? Bro? No! Um, why? Core, why? Wait. Why would you do that, Core? You're actually uh -huh. trolling and griefing. Wait, what the fuck was that stopwatch? Why people do that stopwatch? That's so Dude. fucking troll. Holy shit. I actually... Uh, uh, it's very cringe. Like, Dude, there's Corey, no Corey, yeah, yeah, chance. Actually trolling. That was actually just troll. Yeah. It's... it's we do a like, when trading. I feel like it's on a higher level than, like, troll flashing. Like, I think it's even worse. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. your flash comes back. Your stopwatch doesn't. Yeah. Wait, he's buying Zonias, man. Think about it. Uh. Infinite value. He actually bought his team two and a half seconds of Jose not farming their camps. Yeah, man. That is fucking worth. Okay, honestly, I, he scooped him straight into Phillip, so I do think that the scoop was, was better than I thought. And the entire reason why this fight doesn't go horrible for them is probably because TL blew both ulties trying to gank Phillip like one minute before and then they decided to fight mid anyways. Yeah, also, I mean, it was also like a 5v3, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just think it could have been a lot a lot harder for FlyQuest. I think mm -hmm. FlyQuest having two additional members really was good for them in that fight. <laughs> but what about um, Aatrox Grit? Mm. It's a pretty How do you feel about Cinder right now? Whoa, good this or... looks a little YOLO. Oh, I forgot interrupted. All right, really YOLO. What the fuck? Afro move Why is Bubo so brain. fast? He is the fast know. man. Yo, get the fuck out of there, Johnson. Stop auto attacking, man. What are you fucking doing? He's uh -oh. dead as hell. Uh oh. Oh no, Takui's about to take it. <laughs> oh, no. the e. that no. was just the absolute worst sequence of everything.
from FlyQuest. Johnson's like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. You're gonna chase me down? I'm gonna just start autoing your ass. They must have thought something was fucking different than we saw, because I mean, they, they, they insta-ulting the support. Like, that is not a play you do if you think their whole team isn't there. Yeah, yeah. he's there. They don't seem like they accounted for host TP whatsoever there. Dude, I think that Core legit baited them by wasting stopwatch. And then the last thing in Jose's mind was Leo no stopwatch. Wow, just an incredible mind game. You really wouldn't get it. He's playing Make at such a high cerebral stupid. level. <laughs> it's also known as a forced on a play. Like, FlyQuest had to go for that. That's actually true. As soon as that and first base. domino fell of Core JJ wasting the stopwatch, like everything else was just a, a forced play. It was a house of cards. Damn, bro, getting these these two dragons early actually feels so fucking strong, just stat wise. Yeah, that's true. It's actually like you're up an entire mythic item. Maybe like four mythic items actually, or like a mythic pass. If Takui uses his Q, he's dead. Oh, he's gone. I'm sorry, Takui. Oh wow, that scoops in Wukong flying. Superman. He's he he's actually fine. He's... Yeah, he's okay. Wait, Bjergsen might be trolling. He has no flash. Wait. He has no flash. Oh. Flash. Yep, Bjergsen's trolling. Bjergsen's trolling. Dude, oh wow. Oh my god. This game is like back and forth plays being you made and no just mana. fumbling them. Oops. You got no mana. Holy shit. Bjergsen is almost as out of mana as Freak is every day. Wait, can we miss Ganon? Minus one, minus oh. one. Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. BG. That was played super weird. Oh. It's a flash? Yeah. He wasn't even streaming that game, was he? Just like a fucking <laughs> no, VOD. The other one was was playing on his like secret account because he couldn't stream his games because he was global banned from, oh, yeah, from yeah. League. So he he said, fuck it, this game is so worth it, I'm gonna leak my account and knowingly yeah. <laughs> get it banned so I can show everyone the game that I should on free. <laughs> like I don't know what It's pretty funny. Is, it's pretty funny, it's pretty funny. I mean, to be honest, he probably just then, two seconds later, bought another account. Not a big deal. Yeah. Gotta replay through bronze, it's fine. Oh, Afro Moo. Wait a sec. This that was a little bit sussy really deep. in the bussy. So Dude, fucking dead. This is such a... It's, it's like almost oh. every Ooh. engage that's happening is just like a troll engage on uh, both Afro, sides. Uh, but, but by the way, is Afro not going glacial, or am I misreading it? He's Aftershock. What is his room? You know, aftershock? I think Glacial kind of needed to. Oh! oh. Wait a oh, second. Oh, Santorin goes down. Santorin trolling. Wait. Wait. They're going oh. crazy mode. Dude, this is. They're going crazy mode. Actually, the weirdest Here's game. Here's mana again! Is he though? I see some mana. Oh no, that was just a flash from the bed. Huh. I'll never forget the funniest shit that I heard last playoffs, which is Team Liquid is like. One of the worst teams in LCS at team fighting, and I couldn't get that out of my head afterwards because I'm like, he's right. How do they win games? Like, like this split, Whippo just fucking one v fives them as set, or like, they just like randomly win a fight off macro. But they're actually somehow one of the worst team fighting teams. Look at this, Afro dice are free. Where where is Whippo going? Yeah, he kind of chased to finish off I, Afro. I, I mean, I honestly, I was watching Bjergsen in this replay, and like, I think he played the fight fairly badly. Like, Syndra's stun is a huge zone thing that, like, actually... That's, like, what allowed FlyQuest to kill uh, Whippo. Nah, they lost Centaurin to Centaurin went in. He, he yeah. No, no, be before that. Steal, no. Before that. Oh, okay. I didn't like, see before. Bjergsen wasted his stun on a dead Alistair to just try to last hit it. And then that gave Fly so much space to, like, have their carries walk up because Syndra doesn't have stun anymore. But, but oh, I like think he... that mistake is only made into an act... Like, it's only translated into an actual, like, bad result because Whippo made the mistake of keep, keep going. Like, he could have gotten saved if, 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 if Bjergsen saved his stun, but, like, 
I don't know. I feel like his positioning was a bigger problem. Mm. But I agree with you. If, if he, he got no value out of the first stun. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just think like you know, if we're, if their team fighting is what we're looking at, like, just, I think looking at what each individual player does during a team fight, is like a good way to tell like how good a team is at team fighting. So I was just watching. You know, like Syndra is like, the team fighting champ. Like her stun can just win fights outright. So I want to see how he used it, and in that fight, I think he wasted it. Let fly play. Though they do have a lot of merc treads, it is kind of hard for Syndra. Yeah, it's not easy for him this game, actually. He's probably one of the... Uh... The HG Veil on Azir as well, what the fuck? Tank Azir. Hmm. Yeah, dude, Tank Azir. Lol. It's, it's not bad versus uh, Leona as well, but... Eh. Not my favorite. Whippo, blind Aatrox. Steel, where's the set pick? Oh, Phil, Is that I the think, punish uh, to Aatrox? Wait, doesn't... Doesn't Aatrox beat set? I've got no idea. I thought it was a good matchup for Aatrox. Whippo is looking down. very dead right now. Yeah, he's so dead. Let's yep. see it. He's very dead. Although... Ooh. Almost made it. Insane. Yeah, that was close. I don't know. Jose is doing Emacs second on by. I'm not sure if that's the most popular nowadays. You think damage w felt is low because W. Was, I mean, W second was. It's what I've been doing. What a lot of people were doing, but I've seen some more E popping up, which I think is well, better in team Media's fighting. Media's been doing it. I don't know. Like I've not been doing well with Y lately, so I wouldn't take what I'm doing as gospel. <laughs> Ooh, if he didn't flash out, he was dead. Yeah, yeah, he's bad. Yeah, it's smackied. I feel like every single time I've seen these fights, what is Whippo's fucking facial expressions? By the way, he's just he's animated. like he's like acting in a fucking. He has some crazy movie. ones. Yeah. I remember a long time ago, someone told me that when Whippo was playing in the Turkish league, he didn't do it, any of these things. Any of these like uh, reaction mm. things in the camp? Really? Mm -hmm. So, oh, there was a little bit of a conspiracy theory that he might be doing it for the camera. Oh no! Whoa, putting on a show for the fans? On a show what, for the that's fans. so evil. In the entertainment business, he's oh, trying to entertain no. people as an entertainer, Paid like actor. <laughs> that shit is just unethical. I agree. Holy shit, two autos from oh. Johnson. Johnson is kind of going giga. Dunky. Does that even mean? They just saw Santorin use his W. He, like, he's stuck. He's in flash. Ooh. Mius is actually right. Whoa! <laughs> They're just giving want? soul. What? My stream quality just took a shit. Yeah. It just reset or something. Uh, I can't see. I think Come some of the pixels house. are about to fight. Next slide, please. I'm switching you can just back change my quality. The, you, yeah, you can change the quality back. It's fine now for me. Cloud Soul. What does it give? Move let's hear it. Let's, let's, let's hear the description. Uh, for all people in the chat who don't know. It gives. Is that for uh, dead? Uh, fucking. Uh, uh, dude, he fucking. cloud sold out of there. Holy Ooh. fuck. That was insane. Do you think that's why he didn't take face rush and Alistair this game? He knew he would get cloud soul? I think so. I think Glacial is pretty good against Zivir. To make her not go fast. Oh. Yo, Bjergsen seems a little bit uh, in, a, in a bad spot here. Oh, he's fine though. Hmm. Did you not get pulled back? He no, flashed. No, like, uh... Aatrox W'd him, and then Vi, like, ulted him. Did he get out of Aatrox's W right before? Or was it not pull him? Mm, the Vi ult may have kept him from getting pulled. I don't think it, it'll pull him out of the Vi ult. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bivo is, uh, looking like a bit Dude, of a Dude, he's just, he's playoffs. such a showman. <laughs> Dude, he is. He, did he is that just, 
Spectators, good job. Hey. LCS spectating I actually leveled up. Yeah, I hope they keep this up. Good replay timings. Don't need to see, you know, a, gu a guaranteed dead Baron on the screen. Shit like that. Show the team fights. Show things that happened that we didn't really get to see. Oh. 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 That was a pretty good stopwatch. I like that. Johnson's doing a if lot of damage. Up. He is. It's actually he is. really strong. Oh, yeah, yeah. He didn't flash that. Bummer. Bummer. That is probably Wait, barren. did Afro al actually alley ulti for the for the smite? Oh my god, Philip got the for the Santorin, no smite. smite. I mean the Santorin, speed up or uh, will we'll Santorin mess up the smite on Grom. And then Philip got the Grom, but then not only did Santorin mess it up, it was probably not a good time to smite Grom since they were about to do Baron. I'm confused. Uh -oh. Yeah, I feel like I just hit a bong listening to that one. <laughs> no, dude. You dude, 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 fucked dude, up, dude. man. Pass the base. Pass the base. He actually <laughs> got <him laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Santorin wasted his smite on Grom. Okay? Okay. Right before Baron. I got but he it. also yeah. missed He also missed it. Like, he didn't get the Gromp with it. Philip got it. But so what about the part where you it. said, did Alistair ult for smite? Yeah. Or, sorry, did Alistair ult for move speed? Oh, okay, that makes a lot then of I sense. Then I asked, like, did Ali ulti just for Cloud Soul move speed to get to the fight? Maybe. Pass yeah. the bomb. That's what I assumed you said, and then you kept talking, and I got more confused. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh. This oh, feels fuck. really forced by a fly. Dude, I, I don't think this good. is a good not fight. Dying. I think it looks good. Oob's not dying at all, dude. Dude, everyone stopwatch. Everyone stopwatch yeah. and flashes out. Zoink. What the fuck is going on? League of Whoa! Stopwatch. So oh, 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 damn! No! He got totally out. That was a really nice scoop. Yeah, it was. How many stopwatches were used that fight? Three? And a GA? Three stopwatches in a GA? Four stopwatches in a GA, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Wow, the spectators are leveling up. They really are. I kind of heard the commentator talking about that too, yeah. Oh, I didn't hear your commentary. It was so fucking low volume. <laughs> One. Two. Yeah. Helios third. Aatrox fourth. <laughs> so many stopwatches and flashes. All right, what if they make like a Actually, no build so mode yeah. in League, like Fortnite, but it's no stopwatch or flash mode? Thoughts? That would be interesting. Questions and concerns. Uh, boring. Okay. Fuck yourself. Okay. Oh. Then I what guess you... I'll just go and do that. Holy shit! I thought Bjergsen not using Zonia's on the Vialty was troll, but it ended up being pretty good because he just killed Jose on Jose the way over. Jose exploded. Yeah, he is not tanky at all. And now they actually have a. Pretty decent chance of stopping Elder because Jungler's dead. Wow, that was that was a really good blue. I haven't I haven't thought about that. Using blue exactly right there to show vision of the bush and of the objective. It's actually really nice. Wait, did it show Jared? Right, I think see. so. I was looking at the phone. Oh wow, they have to give it. Is I there really, one or two I really like today? that FlyQuest played like that. Two people over the wall to, to create pressure and zone, and two people doing Drag. That was really nice by them. Yeah, I did shit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think I right know. now Jose having no armor is pretty grief. Like, you should just buy a dance or something. Who? Which one? Jose. Jose, Jose yeah. has Merc Treads, and he, I guess he finally bought a Chain Vest. This is his first armor item 35 minutes into the game. Pretty true. Yeah, yeah. Definitely needs armor there. I feel like Black Cleaver I mean, was just not the move. Like, what else should he build? Like, you're saying... Oh, oh no. Like, like, I'm not even talking about Jose? Jose's build. What the fuck was that, Jose? Oh, that? <laughs> armor check? Death's Dance check? Dude, yeah, uh, something tells me Death's Dance would not have uh, changed that one too much. Uh, the only the explanation is he thought that? that Sivir used Spell Shield... Like, he saw that Sivir used Spell Shield and he thought he had a timing or I mean, something. I mean, I... Or... Either that, or he like he sent Hans the money in PayPal, 
and Hans didn't hold up his end of the bargain. I, I don't think we can hold that on Jose. <laughs> that is true. Wait, wouldn't be Hans be the one paying him for that? <laughs> yeah. No, no, he was he was paying Hans to not spell shield. Oh, I but see. But Hans see. didn't follow up. Oh, I see, I see. But I guess yeah, it could work the other way too. Maybe Jose did just get the payment. But yeah. He fucking died, Jesus. That's intentional. Yeah. TL's just playing full defense. I mean, they do have shiver scaling, so I think this game's actually winnable for that reason, but yep. they have to get a good fight. Blackwest has the worst soul. They're not outscaling that severely. I, I do think Olaf severely and nice. Leona. Oh. <laughs> that was unintentional again. Um, Olaf and Leona are totally useless late game champs, uh, but you know, you can make the same argument for champs like Vi, maybe even Alistar is kind of useless. Is Olaf useless? Totally. He is made out of paper, even though he has four items. He'll just walk into as he'll walk into a zero and a Felios and just die. Hmm. We'll see about I think that. So. They they did change him a bit with the scaling. With yeah, I mean you, you could be right. I don't see a ton of a lot. Yeah, but his I basic was... item is Trinity Force. Like I think if he bought maybe something else, I don't know, Gore Drinker or something, he doesn't instantly die. But hmm. Trinity Force Olaf seems totally troll to me. Maybe we'll see. I'll watch like, him. All those. I was under the impression he's not paper, but I could be off on that. Aphelios is pretty strong late game. Yeah, I've, Aphelios does seem to be one of those champions who does like well with items. I'm personally a fan of getting items on Aphelios. Yeah, items are pretty good, huh? Yeah, oh. I think items are very nice on him. Ooh. I, nice. I, oh, oh no, wow, he, he actually got the spell shield, shield in the vial. Oh, wait. HX uh -huh. got a reset. It's GG. Philip? Yep. Oh! Oh! It bounces. Wait, Johnson? Quadra. Oh! oh. Penta, 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 Uh, the, the Felios, though. Yeah, I know. I didn't say he was Jin. I said fitting for a Jin. Yeah, but I just don't understand because Jin's not in the Because you got a four, Sneaky. A fucking four. Yeah, I mean, four is a number. Jin likes four. Yeah, Jin's Jin likes four. Game. What is so hard about this for you? Okay, you're right. You're always right. Finally, Sneaky. finally, someone understands. One thinks fans don't know about I'm cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> no fucking shot he put that. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, it's actually funny. <laughs> One thing fans don't know about you, I'm cool. Social accounts to follow the real Philip. Five. Is that five? Amazing. He's yep. not on the gram. Dude, I need to go to the bathroom. Don't do it. Take Please don't. Point. Please! Take the camera. Please spare your fucking sink, man. I don't know. The sink is looking awfully clean right now. <laughs> Lena just cleaned the sink, guys. Oh, That's really nice of her. Something happened to it. Ready to get peed in. How, I, I've on. always wondered, like, how many squares of toilet paper do you guys use on, like, an average trip to the bathroom? Okay, okay, dude, 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 I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys about how I fold toilet paper because I think this is normal. Okay, so I, I take a really, really long roll, right? It's, it's like this long. It's fucking long. And this I fold long. It in half, this long. Okay, and then I fold it in half again. So now there's four squares. It's like a sheet that's long like this, and there, and there's like four. There, it's like four uh sheets like thick, and then I take the top and I wipe and then I fold it. And I and I wipe it and then I fold it and in the end it's like, you know, I've used it all. I make an origami. Wait, isn't crane that and normal? I just okay, dude, I tried to exp I tried to explain that to my fucking white teammates on on DSM, and they were all looking at me like I was an alien. No, because no, they're like 
I just take two sheets, I take two squares, and then I fold it and fold it and wipe and throw that in the trash. And, and I'm like, isn't that so inefficient? Because you have to do that like so many times. I mean, like, I, I used know. to just use one square, but lately I've been using two. It feels wasteful, but like it's... One square? Holy shit, man. You have so much faith in your toilet paper brand. I would never trust it in a million years. What the one fuck are you talking cursed. about? One square? Oh, yeah, I moved up to two. One square, bro? What the fuck? You, you must clip your nails every day, bro. Hmm. That's true. The nails could stab it. You've never had sharp nails in your life. I don't really use much toilet paper anymore because I have bidet, but definitely used a lot when I would wipe in the past, and then I did move into, like, two square. Wow, this is such a good conversation. Dude, I swear to God, my, like, folding, yeah. my more, my f two, two times fold meta is going to take over one day. Like, it's actually so nice. I still don't understand. You're taking four total or more? No, so I'm like taking. I'm taking. Let's just imagine I take like a sh uh, like twenty squares, right? And okay, I fold so it in half. Twenty. Then I and then I fold it half again. Okay, so now it's like, it's probably like maybe like four or five squares long, something like that. But it's like four thick. So, and then, I'll. I'll anyway, whatever. No, nah, that's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. That's a lot of toilet paper. No, twenty's a lot. Twenty's a lot. Maybe maybe take like maybe take like twelve or or fifteen. I don't know. That's I don't know. I don't know how many. Lot. Why would you just use two? What do you mean two? You have to wipe multiple times, dude. Yeah, but you keep grabbing. I probably waste an hour a day in the bathroom. Like what? In the hour? No <laughs> fucking fuck? shot, man. <laughs> no, That's I mean so like long. if you combine all the times you need to go. <laughs> no, dude. What? what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> no, you must be sitting on the toilet, bro. <laughs> You finish your shit 20 minutes ago and you're just sitting there. Nah. <laughs> no, but I need to pee as well sometimes. Oh, that does uh, have the extra 45 minutes. Yeah, I forgot about peeing. Whoops. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, guys, it's, it's not that crazy. Like, uh, I... Uh. Uh, uh, yeah, like, of course I'm on, on the phone, but, like, if I need to go twice a day, I'll sometimes spend, like, 20 minutes each time. Yeah, and that, that adds there. up to an hour. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. it's, like, 30 minutes, you know? It's, like, Reddit is really banger that day. It's have you guys ever tried wrong, dude. going to the bathroom without your phone? It's, like, I get anxiety. Like, I have to have my phone to go to the bathroom. Oh, I actually don't mind it. Really? What do you do? Like, read the fucking shampoo bottle next to you or something? I like... just think. Really? That's wild. You know how that sp you know that SpongeBob episode actually like hits me. Oh, Belveth, please play it. Later. Please play it. Oh my god, I was about to freak out. Remember the episode where SpongeBob and Patrick get a box, and then Squidward makes fun of them, but they're having the time of their lives, and like they're using their oh, imagination like, yeah. in the box. Yeah. yeah. And then and then Squidward wants to ha finally have fun, but he doesn't get it because he doesn't have an imagination. Mm -hmm. It's like when you're chilling in, in the shower or like on the toilet by yourself, no phone. You know, you you gotta channel your inner SpongeBob. Yeah. So Feels usually good. I think about a certain lost picture that I shower. saw. Yo, you guys were stuff. shitting on me for Sanger and Ecton, and there he is. Whoa, I de I demand go. an apology. No I and demand. Win this game, right? <laughs> Absolutely demand an apology. <laughs> What's your prediction for this game? Who's gonna win? I think Who's gonna take the cake. I mean, I have a pretty good idea. I feel like based on draft, this game's kind of over. But you know, there are a lot of people watching. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna cue it to myself. Philip actually told me what happens this game. What happens? He's cool. <laughs> oh, he's too cool. That's one I thing see. you didn't know about him. Has <laughs> Has Whipple ever leaned against someone this cool in his whole career? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Wait. All right, game time. 51, 52. Yeah, three. I'm same. Q level one, Sivir, is that allowed? No, it's not. 
I feel punish like, him, Draven. I feel like no matter what, Sivir takes at level one. Wait. Uh oh, oh looks, he what? can't spell shield the combo. That looks like a good trade for. Oh. Wait, it looks. It looks playable. It looks playable. He can't kill. Oh, he did. Yeah, he he's alive. Oh. Ooh, that. Dude. I mean, Johnson Draven got the pop, so it wasn't horrible, but. Oh, it's bad though. In this matchup, trade one for one kill. No, thank you. Yeah. He does get a lot of gold for sure, but I think Sivir's also going to have a nice little buy as well. Not ideal, but I don't think it's horrible. Ooh. Wow, why doesn't Kiwi just go ignite, man? Philip would have won ignite. <laughs> this oh, game, Whippo took ignite. Core is so annoying. Oh, Core is so annoying. Wow. Oh, Core is so annoying. Please, man. Oh my god, it's the freeze! Oh my god! Let's get an LCS highlight on this legendary freeze. Dude, that actually is so annoying, though. If you're playing any carry and the enemy support does that, it's support gap. Yeah. What's the counterplay? What, is it? Is it just punting the the cannon away from tower, or like what? Yeah, punting the cannon away from tower and getting the freeze there is actually so huge. Okay, it doesn't freeze, but saving yeah, I mean, the cannon I, so, for your AD uh, carry is the sauce. So I've always been unclear on that part when it comes down to like, um, w when does it fully freeze and when will it like slowly push out? Because like the it's reinforcements are out faster. Yeah, but like it's, it's one it's cannon. Right, right there, right there, it's no. like too close to the turret. So one way to think about it is like, the minions on blue side are gonna arrive and start hitting th that cannon like way faster than the minions on red side are gonna back up the cannon minion. Yeah. Because normally they would meet in the middle. So the further it is, the harder it is to freeze. Um, it's actually really insane to like have a freeze in the very, very middle of the lane because it's really easy to hold that way. Mm. Uh, oh, wow. Afro oh, wow. is getting uh, solo killed. Oh, wow. What? Did Afro remember what side he was? What the fuck? I got confused during that play. Like, I, I actually got confused about what, like, who was killing who and like who was ganking because <laughs> it was like really jarring to just look at that and see like three people under tower that, that was, was really weird funny yeah wait i just i it didn't register till just now that afro's playing braum dude he hates this champion <laughs> he does hate it it's... when i played with him 100 thieves it would be like that constant state of just like Hey, dude, uh, Brom's open. Do we want a free win? He's like, nah, man, Brom's not that good. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, if, if you want him, he's there. You're funny, dude, man. No wonder. You know what? You have win. such a huge Brom boner. He's fucking broken, man. Uh, like. No. He's pretty yep, he's terrible here. The only one who don't think he's him. broken good. is Botlingers. No, no, no. I like playing with Brom as an AD carry. He's insanely fun to play with helps you like good in all in good at obviously peeling and just generally good scaling but i don't know about this game i like that oh i really like that uh core sort of just sat there and waited yeah oh wow that was very well wow, played yeah i mean like looking at it again it doesn't feel like Al mm -hmm. like afro played it that troll or anything like yeah it he felt like it was fairly normal what he went for he, he couldn't give core range to w him uh, and I, I think at the time he probably didn't think that tower was showing him, so he thought he was shooting a Q from fog, mm -hmm. but he's actually not. So, bummer. How does Sivir manage to stay so close to Draven CS? Uh, just early game. That kill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that Sometimes like getting getting really kills hard. or any sort of deaths just makes the lane so uninteractive because you're not really playing PVP. You're just playing the wave. Can't fight, yeah. can fight kind of situation. Yeah. I don't Early game leaning is definitely like one of the areas that I'm least knowledgeable about. Cause like sometimes it'll feel like, you know, it's like, what's stopping from like every time Sivir goes for a CS or even just walking up and butt fucking her. Like, uh, because sometimes Alistair is not in position to combo in, and in those cases you're just playing a one v two trade. Mm. Like you would not, you you can't just always walk up to Sivir on every single CS. Your support has to be there. And if the wave's like not good for that, or core's like gonna go ward or some shit, then mm -hmm. yeah, both ADs carries just farm. The the best time to fight for Draven is just when the wave crashes directly in the middle, because then you're not like 
at a disadvantage. You're not at an advantage. But like, where like you need to kill minions, yeah. kind of thing. It, I always yeah. thought Draven was one of those champs who like kind of breaks the rules of like the minion advantage stuff, just because he's so strong. Like he he can't just like run Sivir down and kill her in a wave. Well, specifically in the Sivir matchup, he can usually fight her more often. But like we said, with that kill, it kind of swings it. Mm. Where like okay. normally he'd be doing that before she gets items. But because she got yeah. the kill, it made it a lot harder for him to just run her down. Also, Draven needs to farm too, right? So every time he, he goes for a CS, and he goes, he kind of like walks around to pick up the axe, and it gives Sivir a, a window to like go left or go right, you know, go go kind of like slightly away from his axe and get a CS herself. Mm. So it has to line up pretty well for you. Um, yeah. No, yeah, I, I agree though. Early laning is sometimes really weird. Sometimes yeah. I play really winning matchups and the enemy to carry is able to farm and I like it can be like really confusing about like why I you you're supposed to shit on them but you couldn't or like yeah vice versa like you're getting shit on you can't farm at all. Yeah. Wow. Takuya made a very nice little escape there. Now what? 5v5. Cuz I've definitely oh seen some God, matchups that so just dead. get so what out of hell? control. Jose just Jose and fucking Philip just went in and got. Oh, oh, Ooh, wow, 400 big. gold in the bank. That's so good for TL. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a massive swing. The spectator UI for who actually gets Harold is actually terrible. I don't know why. Like, does it doesn't say it. It was. It was. It was really hard to tell who got Harold there. Like. For, yeah, un like unless you're watching the fucking smite battle, but like in game it says who gets it on like the top, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so weird. That was a it very weird TP. Uh, I like that TL does this play. You see that um, play in LCK a lot, where oh, they like disappear and they just guard the. The path like back anywhere else, so they just keep them trapped there. Yeah. Make them go the really, really miserable way back. <laughs> oh. This is so weird. Surely this can't be good for Fly. Just both nope. solo laners taking no, no, turns it's... getting zoned by the tower. Like, what it's is horrible. this? Horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. I mean, it is fucking three people here. <clears throat> I'm jerking them off. Yeah, but I mean, they're, they're getting a lot. They are. Yeah. They're so. The, the TP ahead. is weird, I guess. They are so, so ahead now. Jose barely got anything off of that whole sequence. It's, it felt like Santorin was sitting there for a whole minute, and at the end of the day, the same CS. Yeah. Weird. Wait, it's Boar Connected coming? Let's go. I hope he goes Prowler Claw. That would be oh hype. Oh god, AF. he's getting a lot of damage. Oh dude, he's gonna get, he's gonna die here. He's gonna yep. die. Yeah. <laughs> That's super unfortunate. Oh no. Felipe. Do you think it's easier for Sedge to freeze Philip because he's already so cool? <laughs> Holy fuck, that was so good. Genius. Shut up, Medios. You're an idiot. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, wow. Jose's just gone. All right. He well, is. This game is fucking over. What is happening this yeah. game? I don't know. Blackwest is getting ran. That's what's happening. He fucking walked up I and mean, died. I mean, like, the way they're getting ran is just fucking weird. Like, it's not really normal looking place happening. I'm always so shocked when I see, like, jungler three levels down from... Okay, Santorin just leveled up, but like jungle is three levels down from solo lanes. I wonder if he is seven. Yeah, that's that's fucking weird. How, how would he be be below Draven? I think it's just jungle's a competitive OP, only thing smile. where jungle is constantly skipping camps and competitive to do stuff like that herald play, which is good for him. He's like he's starving himself to to fuck over somebody on the enemy team, but it it. It necessitates that his teammates do something with that lead because he's not getting the lead. It's like Bjergsen and Bwipo get that lead. Then Bwipo gets a solo kill on. Oh, he got canceled. Uh, oh, yeah. He has flash though. He should be fine. 
Yeah, he's totally fine. Squibbles all coming flash. up soon. Oh, not soon enough. Yeah, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. It usually it just comes down to like so much of competitive. It's about like for jungle at least it's like posturing, right? It's like what's the like say you want to full clear your jungle before going to a play, right? It's like you'll show up at the play like a minute later, and by then like. If they just go to the play right away and they see you're not contesting it, like they see they're just giving up all vision, not trying, like you just start proxying them, like, like shit like this. Right? Yep, that's exactly what happened with Santorin. Like he was basically proxying top lane for a whole minute. And, yeah, I mean, uh, and, and, and this kind of stuff is why, like, as jungle, like it's hard to pull off, like, super high resource intensive jungle champs. Not necessarily because it's, like, hard to play them, but just because it's, like, hard to function as a team when your jungler can't just, like, go where needed, right? Like, if you're just having to give away f entire turrets to their carry, yeah. so your jungler can get two camps on the other side of the map, it's like, that's not actually a very good trade. Dude, are, they're at 13 plates right now, Team Liquid. They just got five yeah. top, five bot, and three mid. I mean, this so is... So much money. Look at that cash. All right, Sneaky, what does Draven build here? <clears throat> Essence? Collector. Essence. Collector, collector. Oh, oh full assassins, Jesus. Huh? Oh, Johnson should maybe kill himself a tower there. Well, man, this is getting FF. FF. Yeah, actually go next. Actually, actually go FF. next. Save the mental. Yeah, actually FF. It's so over. Can we remake? Ask for remake. <laughs> And then Teal will say, no, play lucky. it out. We need to f we need practice closing games. And they say, okay, oh, we'll play it out, side. Smile. That's true. This game snowballed so hard, man. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know. I guess and Brahm is not just even really new, OP. New. <laughs> oh, Phoenix. Oh, wait, wait. Phoenix is here? I've seen this. Oh. He wait. got melted. Wait, winnable, winnable. Winnable, winnable. That was a lot of gold onto the monkey. Just kidding. Totally and not And XP. Gold and XP. That's what, that's what Phoenix would have looked like if he tried it current year. Yeah, actually. Just died of the jungle by himself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, I, dude, if you go back and you watch that Phoenix play, like, the way it was played against him was so fucking troll. Yeah. Yeah. We played all this, like, shit. Oh, yeah, it was you. It was me. I got Phoenix's eared. Wait, was it you? I, I knew it was Afro. I thought it was six eight for some reason. Oh, that's awkward. No, awkward. no, it was it was it was CLG season five. No, no, I was playing like Ash or something, like totally useless at diving. And I was just following Afro's call. I'm just saying, guys, that was his call. Were you quirky? I forgot who I was. I fucking forgot too. I just remember like a really troll barred portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looked funny as fuck, we, like watching everyone individually. Mm -hmm. We're playing Ash Bard? Yeah, that sounds right. Mm. Well, Not that ahead? They're pretty fucking ahead. Oh, Whoa. Bork Necton Whoa, on the Bork prowl? Necton? On the flank? He oh, says, come here, shit. Hans. I'm about to show you the Bork Necton. <laughs> uh... Wait a second. Why didn't they kill anybody? Yo, good posturing, guys. Good posturing. Oh! Whoa! He curved it. Oh! oh! He wasn't paying attention. Dude! Takui, come on! Bruh? Surely you don't die to that. The He's game's over anyway. checked out, bro. He's checked the out. The game is over anyways. Who cares? <laughs> that's so troll. Like, that's not even on Draven. It's fucking Takui trolling it. <laughs> he probably thought that he could finish recall before it snaps back to Draven or something. I don't know. Or that was that really Draven well played didn't... by Hansama. <clears throat> oh yeah. I don't think it was that troll. Honestly. Really? Like he, he there's two options. Like he thought maybe Hansama didn't move. Like he, he shot the ulti and then immediately started channeling recall. But like Hans actually moved quite a bit, so the angle changed on the way back. Mm. I don't know. And the game is over. Yeah, and, and the game is over. Yeah, he probably <laughs> thought he's... And he's 0. 0.1 seconds off his ult. Like, or his, or his I don't... Oh, and his game is minimized. He wouldn't even have a full screen. 
He fucking sees it. He had his gears oh, in <laughs> no, no, he saw it. It's... <sighs> He's taking a calculated risk and it didn't pay off. No, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Damn, Han Samba's Draven Ult. Draven Ult, dude. <laughs> it's just, it, Draven Ult montage this game. It's so much value ever since Herald. Yeah. Yep. The actual Infernal Souls individually are really powerful, which mm. probably contributes to the win rate. That actually would make sense, yeah. Because you're, you're minimum getting two if you're getting Infernal Soul, and maybe, you know, in some instances you're getting three or four, and or that already, or it's seven, yeah. You can't get seven, that's too many. Oh. A lot of souls. Oh, fill up with the big fill flag! The big the flag. Gonna respect oh, what's this? gonna happen? Surely he's not just gonna get one shot in a millisecond of CC. Okay, Philip. Philip patiently the waiting. TL sweating. They know there's a big croc behind them. They can only go forward. Retreat is not an option when you've got a Renekton waiting for you. Oh my god! Oh, Jose's killing everyone. Oh Phillip my god, it's time! Philip's coming in! Oh, oh, he oh, he oh, he oh. oh. Holy shit, what a climactic like finish! Oh, he died. He even come teched in, and they still got his ass. Wow. They somehow managed to peel the Renekton off. Immaculate play by Team Liquid. Dude, that was Monster just... Didn't... I feel like TL is just shutting up all the haters about their team fighting after that one. Stopping that Renekton flank, that was... Mwah, chef's kiss of team fighting. They almost managed to blow Han's cleanse and stopwatch. Maybe better luck next fight. That was such a fucking disgusting stop, dude. Yep. It was, it was. It was it was over by like ten minutes, honestly. The after the Herald fight and then the double zoning proxy top wave. Oh. It was Yeah, it was something about like such a weird event. LeBlanc TPing in to do nothing and then Renekton still getting fucked and LeBlanc getting fucked and then losing the turret. It's just like that. Sequence made legit no sense. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. I'm, I'm going to um, be right back. I need to get to the bathroom. Lena, get the garbage disposal ready. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Her blending. I'm, I'm going to take my dog out really quick. I'll be back. Okay. Literally, it spawned pot friend. What's up, and guys? I'm champ. back. The sink Yo. is in shambles. You destroyed your sink? No, I didn't. I was a real human today. Although, yeah. I did eat out of the trash last night. Oh, what'd you get? Well, it was actually just tortilla chips that had gotten thrown in there. <clears throat> By who? Alina. Ooh. They weren't that old. They were only like, like literally, we had just been eating them, put them in the trash. <clears throat> I feel like you're serious here, <clears throat> dude. It, it but really I can't isn't, tell. It really isn't that <laughs> bad. <laughs> why don't you store in the things bag. not in the trash? Like, the, why is the trash can yeah, a literal don't know storage if you're gonna can? You're gonna want to go back and eat some or not? Yeah, well, you can just fucking store it first and then throw it away when you know you're not gonna eat it. Because it's like you don't you've never thrown something uh, away. You've nah. Leave it listen, in there listen. if you throw it away. You've never thrown something away and then wanted to change your mind afterwards. <laughs> no. And if I did, I'd say, ah, oh, fuck, it's gone. It's actually just deleted loss. from my mind. That's literally your loss. Is it my loss? Yes. <laughs> Look, I, actually, I, I got a bag of tortilla really, chips, right? A bag of tortilla chips, put them in the trash. I do not think I've ever put something in the trash and later regretted it. What does your desk look like? Take a photo right now, man. You look like XQC's desk or what? No. I have my coffee cup from yesterday on my little heater. I have the Starbucks drink. I have the sandwich package. And I have my vitamins. You've never thrown away your half-eaten sandwich, for example, 
and then been oh, like, no. oh shit, I'm hungry. No! <laughs> Oh fuck, that looks good. <laughs> am I the crazy one or like, like? I, okay, I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna pull this. Literally, okay, am I'm I telling the you, crazy one. Your yes, mistake no. is that you're throwing away something that you think you're not done with. Potentially, not... Lena threw it away. By the way, not me this time. Oh shit. <laughs> you're Nicole's fucking looking raccoon bad. digging through trash. <laughs> You're Damn, pulling what it. What the fuck is going on? It's I'm actually I'm actually outnumbered ten to one. <laughs> huh? Yeah. What, is, what does Lena tell you when you do this or mention it? Um, she looks at me with disgust. <laughs> you just say nah, nah. Lena's wrong. Fuck that. <laughs> she oh, physically right. recoils from my touch and gaze and presence for the next twenty four hours. <laughs> But you're feeling good because you just ate the, the trash sandwich and chips. Well, like I said last night, I, I said Lena made uh, spam and rice, right? But what I didn't say was that I also at two in the morning was eating uh, trash tortilla chips and salsa. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be questioned. I see, I see. It went really well with the spam and rice. <laughs> Wamba -combo. The worst part is he starts offering some to me. It's like, you want some? I'm like, no. <laughs> is that why you said no? Is that why you said no? <laughs> what the fuck? I thought you just weren't in the mood for sure since Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, Lita usually loves chips and salsa. What's going on here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, whatever dude. That's called being efficient. Someone's like, oh why did you just buy new chips and salsa? Well bro, I saved a lot of fucking money in my life. <clears throat> so true. Why Renekton? Cause Whippo needs to show Philip how it's done. <laughs> with the croc. It's a counterpick. It's a massive counterpick. By the way, Seraphine? Seraphini? Most broken champ in the game, potentially. Yorkshire Swain's kind of weird, right? Yeah, I don't know why he likes playing Swain versus Azir. I always figured it would be bad. Because Azir just kind of like always ever so slightly outranges you. And if you, if you do want to flash in, you're probably going to get shuffled. So Yeah, you kind of just get farmed. Yeah, but but he likes that side. I've, I've seen him play this matchup so many times. It is weird. I guess we'll see how it pans out for him. He's thick. What the f- That's called first drag value, baby. I think so realistically, weird. Lucian cannot- Oh, wow. Ow. Ow. Ow, indeed. Holy moly, level three to two. That was a sick oh, hook. Oh, Vi is here, Yeah, Vi is but... coming, though. But the way that Afro played that at the very end ma made it really obvious. It's like, oh, why is the level two now walking up? Obviously, split map. Yeah. I don't know. That trade seemed pretty scuffed. Like that original one, where he like went in on Nami's thing. He like W'd and eat immediately, and then autoed and ran away. And he got the procs, but. No, uh, it, it is it is scuffed, but like that's. Oh my god, oh. Afro's dead. Oh my god, no. Well, at least he held the wave for a few seconds. He did, he did. <laughs> That's actually the way that you play it at level 2. You either dash in, auto Q, or you just do WE and one auto and back off. It's weird. You're basically hoping that Nami can carry the trade. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's two procs with your E, right? And then, or actually it's three procs with your E. To be honest, but then it's also W damage from Nami. You don't, I don't think know. there's, I mean, like, I guess if you're scared of shit, but are you actually scared of shit of fucking Seraphine Nautilus? Mm. I feel like you're not. Like, I think Seraphine is actually gonna give you angles to smack her. Yeah, potentially. Oh, jeez, Afro's been running it. A lot early game, plus two games. Uh oh. 
oh, fuck, man. Johnson's in trouble. He has no cleanse here. He can just get... Anybody can just get flash autoed here. Oh. Oh. Wow. This is actually so tilting. Good like respect. The, just the thought that you're not sure if the jungler's there. Yeah. Is so fucking annoying. He has to flash. He's just like, all right, like, are they fucking bluffing and he's just jacking off in the bush? And he's just gonna sit there for the rest of the game? Or is the jungler actually here and am I gonna die if this hook lands? Oh my god. Yeah, I heard okay. everything that you just said, by the way. Me just is walking the dog. Really? In the middle of a playoff series? Respect. Well, it's taking a little bit longer. The dog jumped into the sink. What the? I was using that. <laughs> nah, the mods can't do anything about it, guys. It's totally on my end with the stream elements donation Fuck thing you. about. Mods? What the hell is double Don't if give my mods a hard time. For Yeah. My mods are so overpaid. The amount of work that they do. Disgusting. Just cashing that check in. Literally oh, this sitting looks bad. there. This looks like a bad time. Oh? How is that a he good time? Is... Wow, Wait, he's not what? dead? What? Jose tried to E through Core JJ to kill him. I remember that Reddit thread with where somebody got a kill with Vibe by eating the tower. And it was like, wow, that's so sick and cool. Like, no one's ever really done that. And then it became, like, really normalized so quickly. <laughs> But yeah, I'd never heard of I'd never seen that play before. Nobody's ever done that. In the history of Doter. <laughs> what was that play even about? I don't remember. Maybe I never understood. It was uh I feel like it was an, an, an Enigma play at, at, at Roche, but I could be wrong. Like was it fancy or Sneaking Roche in level one. Oh, that's so really? funny. Imagine if in League you could do Baron at level one. It was like <laughs> yeah. insanely risky and everyone would be one oh. HP if you tried. Oh. Wait, Core's fucking dead. No flash. Yeah, he's fucked. There's no flash. Mook was dead too. Oh, this is looking the very good. The Serum of John is here. Bop, 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 bop. Huh? Huh? Oh. Wait. Huh? He's taking like no damage. Huh? What the okay. Fuck? <laughs> well, Johnson is weak as shit. Dude, He's there's a pretty good clip. So weak. Of Lucian ulting in MF. Did you see it? No. What happened? Oh, was it the bronze play? Lena told me to look at it, but I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. It is the bronze play. Well, that's funny. I should I should go watch it after this. After I watch these bronze plays. Oh. Ooh. Oh wow, Bjergsen really does hate playing against Vi. Wait, Medus is he stuck outside? Holy shit, man! Oh hey, what happened? What happened? So fucking troll. The like intercom system in my building is just not working. So like, I just couldn't get inside. Oh. So, uh, what happened in the end? Oh, well, I was I got stuck outside with like one of my neighbors, and then. One of her friends, and then her friend ended up like hopping over some fences to get inside. And you couldn't do that. And I you had my dog do that. with me. You're just so oh. out of shape. You couldn't just quickly hop the fence and. You fat fuck. <laughs> you guys are fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, how how big is your dog, by the way? Uh, like this big, ish. Oh, oh. Yeah, uh, it's pretty big. That, that's a good size. Nah, she's like, uh, four point two kilograms. Wait, that's tiny. I thought you liked big dogs for some reason. Nope, always had small dogs. You like like lap dogs? Yeah, I love oh, lap those dogs. Those are cute as fuck. I always wonder though. I'm like worried about those tiny dogs because I had heard that like some of them have health problems because they're bred for like units and stuff. I don't really know which ones, but. Hmm. It always like freaked me out that I was potentially, you know, like, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want my uh, pet that I really care about to have like fucking health issues. 
Yeah, my dog's Spooky gonna live stuff. forever. Oh, that's cute. I think it was pugs, yeah. Oh yeah, P I mean pugs do for sure because they have like that scrunched in face, they have breathing problems. problems. If there's one champ that can carry any game, regardless of how bad the team is doing, it's probably Seraphine. She's the most broken champ ever. Ever in the history of Dota? I think she's pretty broken. I think she might be the best champ in the game right now. Is there anyone better than her? Really? Zeri? Zeri's probably better than, than, than Seraphine. I don't know, actually. I don't know. I, uh, I, I, I'm like, I can't really say that in like confidence. Like, yeah, Zeri's better. I feel like Talia's up there right now with best champs in the game. Oh, but Seraphine shits on Talia's face. Yeah. Actually. I, I think Seraphine's probably best champ in the game. Yeah. Hold the fucking phone. Dude, Wait a like second. It. Where does Biscuits go? Wait. He's rich, plus 15 gold. Troll despair, he sold them. Okay, hold up. What do you guys think if, if you don't use your biscuits and you have three of them, you can trade them in for a, a lost chapter? Ooh. I think you should be able to trade them in for a super biscuit. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. One that's okay, extra and, and the super maybe? biscuit gets Whoa. you... Uh, hold on. Let me think about what? this. What should the Super Biscuit give you in my dream world? Mm. It instantly kills you. Boom. As wow. in, like, you just eat it and you just instantly die. Hmm. Wow, it sounds like, does really the other powerful. team not, not get a kill? Like, so if you're about to die, you just take it and no, just, like, no, no, no. cyanide no, it's capsule? Just like, it's, like a, it's like a cyanide capsule. Yeah, it's like, if you want to execute fast... <laughs> But like, okay, what if the other team's hitting you and you take your cyanide capsule? Like, does it? No, then they get the kill. They get the kill. Uh -oh. But like, if like, let, let's say you know you're gonna die to a gank, but you don't have just enough time to execute, you eat your super biscuit and die. <laughs> Dude, I should be Massive. a game designer. I'm actually so smart. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think themes of suicide like are just should be more prevalent in <laughs> in gaming. Kids game. Yeah, that that we can work on the delivery of that. It could be like. You'd instantly teleport to a nice and peaceful ranch on the countryside, uh, and your screen turns gray. Wow, that sounds that great. That could be insane. Like you don't you don't leave behind like a body or die. Uh huh. You okay, okay I, another, another good idea. You instantly get a girlfriend in real life. Oh. From your from your biscuit. Yeah, from the Super Biscuit. I feel so eight. bad for those girls who have to date League players. I know. Actually insane. Ooh! Oh! Uh-oh, Jose looks pretty fucked. Wow. Jose's not been having a, a, a very good three games. Like, even in the first game that they won, he was kind of sprinting it as Vi. Uh... Yeah, he was. Suicided like twice. We need to get. We in. need to get this guy off the Vi, okay? Off the Vi. How about how about some Trundle? Trundle's looking really strong this patch. Okay, Trundle time. Let's go, Jose. Dude, how about Nunu? Nunu's looking amazing mm -hmm. right now. Ooh. I could use some Nunu. You can. Nunu's so bad and competitive. It's crazy. Wait, why? Oh, he sucks. What are you talking about? No, no one's even tried him in competitive. He's got to be good, no? People have he's tried tanky. him. He's tanky. See, he secures objectives. Back no, he, he literally utility. just like doesn't... He, he's not useful enough. Dude, maybe you're just not getting Nunu. I'm insane at Nunu. And he's trash. Do you not oh. remember Sven Skarin playing Nunu on like the first game of the split right after his rework he and going played... like 0-9 or something? Dude, he played that against my team and they only got <laughs> shit on because we were just better <laughs> wait was that were you all, all in that game sneaky yeah it was you were playing with disky's casio right it was, it was no i think it was uh was it that what? i thought it was so, like as zoe no yeah you're right you're right sorry you gave over casio when she was really broken to jensen and then Niski got to play zoe but like you guys didn't lose because Zuno was useless i, I think it was just because casio was too broken he was literally running it down I, i'm like the I've tried him a couple times in scrims and stuff, and like you, you literally just like get fucking caught and die so easily. 
I see. I guess that makes sense. Like, you don't do any damage, ability. like, you can't duel anyone. Like, the things that make him good in solo queue, right, is, like, sneaking slash soloing objectives, which not and really being competitive. Ganking, ganking that's lane. super... Yeah, I mean, super unexpected ganks, but, like, in competitive, that's fairly easy to play around. You're just a hater, man. Nunu's gonna be good at worlds, mark my words. His mark my Merrells. His gank, dude, his ganks are totally insane. Are they, though? Yeah. Yes. Yes, they are. Just dodge only the bot snowball. Laners, only bot laners understand how disgusting his ganks are. You're just <laughs> perma-pressured by his snowball. It's crazy. You guys don't know how to dodge a snowball. That is just sad. Uh-huh. Did you know that yeah, in League there's diminishing returns on slows? And you yep. can't actually be slowed by 99% or else your movement speed would literally be 5. And that doesn't happen. Yep. There's like a cap to how much your movement speed can be decreased. Which is so funny because... Well... Instead of instead of having this invisible mechanic in the game, why don't they just change the percentages on slows? Like, why is it possible to have a 99% slow as opposed to just capping it at, like, this ability caps at, I don't know, 70% slow and then just have it do what it says? It's like these two systems make no sense together. Well, did you know mm. there's also diminishing returns on uh, move speed increases? Uh, see, I, I don't really yeah. understand that. Though. Like, what? why don't they just... Those, those don't make sense, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's I, just so, weird. like, you can't get too fucking bonkers I, I think it's good so like well, it, change it, change like zillions move speed increase to like 50 percent instead of 99 and then like well, change the... I, I think it's fine the way it works it's just it's so hard to understand how how it all comes together i think it's yeah, like I, after I, like four 419 ms it's like a 20 percent dr and then after like 490 ms it's a 50 percent dr i oh. think those are the numbers could be Ooh. off by a bit oh Nice engage by core. Nice lag by me. Yeah, I fucking froze. I fucking froze. Oh, oh no! Uh, that was just a really good engage by core, and then Hans had a really easy ulti to follow up. Honestly, think... a really nice W by Hans there too, just healing his whole team. Like it was impressive to get every single person Yo, with that. Why is FlyQuest walking up? Well, why are they it. walking up? They Don't tell drag. me you're... No. No, you're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. Do it. No, no balls. No! Oh. Hmm. Yeah. No, why? You're killing everybody. What's going on? Oh. Well, they got core. They killed the support. Dude, what was that? There, there's no reason to try 4v5 there. There was only yeah, that, one that way was that was ever going to go, and it was horribly. Yeah. What happened Damn. to Lucian? Why, why did he separate it from Nami? Was Nami Oom? That was the first part Is of the fight. Is playing Nami? That was a Wait. sick fucking start to the fight. Oh, dude. Johnson? Is position here? Yeah. Could yeah. not hit anyone. That was really weird. Uh, why is he walking by himself? Like he and has he walked to be by himself on Nami. again here. Yeah, he he, he 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 he's walking by himself here too. He just kind of goes. And I, I honestly at this point anybody any one of these four players can be like, "Yeah, I don't like this." Yeah, I eyeballed it. I didn't like it and then they just walk in too far and die. But there was no other way you could have that could have went. Ah, dude, Fly's trolling is so hard. Okay, like the decision to walk up is grief, but then why are Lucian and Nami separated? Like Lucian does not do damage unless Nami is buffing him. It's actually insane, the difference. He's a strong, independent man, and he doesn't need a Nami. He wants to show the world. Oh, he needs Nami. The, the main reason is that it's his fucking Vigilance passive. Like, if you buff Azir, you're getting less out of it than you would by buffing Lucian. That's Nami's... assuming that Lucian can hit the whole time. Oh, I mean, you only need, like, three hits to total which are instantly done oh my god Johnson? okay good escape in the end fly literally cannot kill anyone they're so tanky with seraphine healing yeah i, it's, I think it's I actually think four is, tanks in seraphine vi is just an extremely useless pick this game i i don't know what would particularly be good unless he was able to just take trundle away but yeah maybe it's a belt game tough one uh oh, it's dark. It's scary. 
Oh, actually, I think I think that uh, Lilia would be good against so many tanky champs. I know no one plays that champ, but it's actually very, very strong. Hmm. Just a bunch of melees. It's GG. What about yeah, Zach? You can't kill anybody. Uh, more useful than Vi, yeah. Zach in the Trunnel, though, is like the worst shit ever. Philip, Philip, the shot. Oh, that was cool. That was really cool, but not enough. Yeah, <laughs> he almost made a good play. Okay, Jose plays for steel. I respect that, and I think that's probably the only way that you're ever going to make a good, good situation happen out of this. Oh, oh my God, does oh he die to Leandris? He, he actually lives. Wow. Stab Jose, him, Takui. He just can't kill them. If Hans plays this well and manages to hit his whole team with W, they could Wait. clutch this. Oh. Teal's choking. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he didn't have flash. Okay. Yeah, he didn't have anything there. Dude, that was almost a fucking Danny moment. Walk up, Steel yeah. Baron, Pentakill. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe that happened to TL. That was just the most fucked up thing ever. Oh, God. Dude, uh -oh. why are they tickling? Like, what's going on here? Oh, my God. Oh, oh my no. God. Johnson is Whoa. just doing no damage. Oh. oh. Oh, Afro! With the schmoobs! Oh, never mind. Hey guys, uh, looks like Lucian does fucking zero damage. Maybe we should have changed the build up. What do you, what do you think about that one? <laughs> Lord Doms is looking weak this game. <laughs> is he, is he first strike, Lucian? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. But it, yeah. I haven't seen a single instance where he could have gotten pressed the attack off. This last fight he could have. He would have done like 100 damage. Dude, I don't know. These situations are just so fucking awkward, man. He got 88 gold from that first strike. He's, he, he's doing zero damage. I I don't know, man. I know that this is the meta Lucian build and everything, oh. but just like just just fucking buy oh. Lord Dom's. I, I don't care. Just I, buy I it. think it's actually very bad the rapid fire against really tanky targets like this. Like you yeah, rapid fire against squishy. You you poke you poke against Seraphine, right? And she either heals it up or you're hitting I mean you're just hitting Renekton. Or you're just hitting Trundle. So Yeah, like you're eating forward, yeah. rapid firing a tank, and it's like yeah, yeah. your burst is not just one shotting them. That's what the rapid yeah. fire is for. That that actually, actually that shot. fight actually would have looked different if he had Lord Doms instead of Rapid Fire and it was those three items. Uh Lord Doms, IE Gale Force. Like I I genuinely think he could have killed someone and maybe turned the fight. Yeah. I'm um, I'm lagging, lagging my balls off. Yeah, yeah. I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Pause. Lagging, lagging, Shop. lagging, lagging. My lag. Can I touch on Lord Doms versus Cyrillas? Actually, you know what? That's a good point. I think Cyrillas would be just fine as well. I like Cyrillas with Nami on Lucian. It's just weird to curve into your next item, right? Because like then you end up with like this weird situation where you can't buy IE because Cyrillas doesn't give you any crit, and then like you have to do some filler crit item, and usually that's like Essence Reaver. Collector. Yeah, not that item. What, wasn't that a Lucian build for a while? Yeah, yeah it was. I don't Heal know. I, I always kind of hated that item. But I'll oh. buy it when it's good. Oh, wow. Four oh. man Seraphine ulti. Very skilled. Bye. Yeah. No, bye. Wait, no one can move. No one, no, can, no one can move. They can't kill anything. Yeah. Even a Zir perma stabbing just does no damn. Yeah. God, Seraphine is such a gross champ. That is true. Jose is really disappointing, though. Uh, he's, I, I can't tell if he's choking or this is his actual skill level, but he's just been playing really poorly ever since game one when he just tried to ulti Sivir inside her base with spell shield up. You know, like it's just the whole three games have been bad from him. What did he play last game? I think he's... Wait, what did he play last game? Viego, Viego. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Maybe. Someone played Viego. No, he was Wukong. Oh, no, no, you're right. He was Wukong. I'm stupid. Uh, If Lee Sin is up, I 
probably would rather have him play Lee and just play play well on Lee versus playing poorly on Vi is like pretty big difference. Yeah, I mean it, it. It's hard to play. Like I think because they were behind, like both Vi and Aatrox are super hard to play when like you're the engage. You know, like you don't have a tank support to go in for you. Yeah. There's just so much stuff to worry about in draft if you're fly quest. It's like you have to think about okay, like the two Vi games, Vi's been looking pretty bad. Um also the fact that the enemy team can play Seraphine and like are we willing to play Seraphine? Uh because she is really broken. Like they play Draven, we don't play Draven, which makes Sivir like the game that they mm. got stomped, they played Sivir against Draven. It's like they can pick Sivir and it's fine, but like we we pick Sivir and we don't ban Draven, it's fucked. I feel like FlyQuest is just like sweating their balls off in this post game. Like they have to figure something out. It is pretty tough. Two snowballed ass games that seem yeah. very unplayable. Yeah, they've been getting shit on. What is this clip you link, Sneaky? Oh, let's watch this. Check it out. It's pretty funny. Extreme display yesterday. of ADC mechanics spotted in bronze. It's pretty good. <laughs> Holy shit! He was ulting that whole time? I thought he was just standing there. I don't have sound on. I thought he was... <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, bro. He he wasn't holding yeah, it the whole time. He God. started it kind of late. Yeah, okay. He just, he just fucking stands there, bro. He doesn't He's give a fuck. There. I mean, Menacingly... it is a support MF. Oh, yeah, it is a support MF. What is Reddit video quality, man? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I know my, I know my limits. That's good. <laughs> TL sub, Pepe laugh. Okay, well, now we have to go. <laughs> now I have to go to the TL sub. Uh, TL versus FlyQuest. It's like a game one post discussion. <laughs> we have no fucking clue how to fight as a team. Blippo and Bjerg look like absolute shit. Giving up objectives for free is back on the menu, boys. My Let god, these guys go. are getting going in. Is this Blippo or fucking Hashinshin? Whatever oh the my first goodness. game. Yeah, they're now they're probably on full 180 cup. Like, I believed in this team all along. Oh my god, so amazing. Beautiful execution. Everyone is just playing amazing. <laughs> That's the reality, man. Lose a game, you're garbage. Win a game, all right. You're the best. I'm sorry, I doubted. <laughs> I think that'll just be the name of competition until the end of time. Like, it's yeah. because people get so invested into it, you know, like... It and like I think like really measured takes are just not entertaining as opposed to just like seething, molding, or just like super dick riding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it is also partly because you can see everybody's opinion. I mean, I think it's also just like not mm. meant to be taken that seriously. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Well. I agree. Which like that that's actually, how I always that's actually do a it. Very, that was actually a very good point. Pro players and like, if if, if you want to take like a, a serious discussion about LCS players and stuff like that, whatever that means, like obviously don't go to Reddit and look at the highest upvoted comments. Like you're not supposed to, yeah, look at that as like great discussion about the game. Yeah, it, it just, players. I feel like it gets weird in League because like the, public perception of players is influenced heavily by like those reddit comments and like orgs yeah. like hundred thieves like actually fucking get their info from reading reddit comments so it's like yep it, whoa, it, whoa, whoa. what no, it's it true like it's, 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 it's literally just, oh. just just how it is like it's not even throwing shade like they, they literally just love that shit. No, I've, I've heard i've heard from multiple sources not just you i think this is your first time saying this actually but I've heard from a bunch of people that 100 Thieves unironically, and actually not just them, many orgs actually read Reddit and Twitter comments to justify roster decisions and in-game like performance feedback. Yeah. Like they will read that shit and actually parrot what they read. Um, Johnson looks pissed. Unbelievable. Really? He, he, yeah. just looks, he just looks like 
Look at his body language. Hmm. I didn't get that he was pissed, but maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it, it would definitely go into the feeling that you're like listening to the community, but <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like troll in the same aspect. <laughs> you know, you know what's actually funny though. I I have noticed that despite the like brain damage that I see online, there's a good chunk of community feedback that is actually right, and it's like hard to admit that. Like some of the criticisms of like me or like that I read or my team or just players in general is real. Like it, it it is rooted in truth. And then like you have to be able to extract like the fucking the craziness from it or the exaggeration and like try to um uh, like the there there sometimes is a, a grain of truth in there. I mean it, it can be, but at the same time it's like I mean we've talked about it before. It's like the broken clock thing, right? Like just based on the sheer volume of things being said, it's like they can't all be wrong. Like, yeah, some things will be right, but a lot of the times it's just baseless because people make their conclusions off like very limited info, right? Like they don't see any of the stuff behind the scenes, like what people do um, in practice and all this other stuff. So it's just like, that's how I've always viewed it. It's like, you know, it's given the info they have, they have reasonable uh, takes, but like they just don't have enough info to actually like, be right or accurate yeah i mean i'm just talking about the lowest common denominator like this guy's playing like shit i'll split um tl's team fighting is horrible um just like neat like the the highest upvoted highest popularity types of opinions um sometimes they, they they're good I, i'm trying to think about when i actually extracted any sort of value out of reddit comments which it was a dangerous game to play. Let me think. Uh, I was on Team Liquid, and I swear to God, I read something that was like, that was actually true, which pissed me off. Like, I don't want fucking Reddit hive miners to be right, but I don't know. It was like something. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it was that thread where they were saying double lift's just like the goaded AD carry best Western player that's ever graced the game. Oh, finally, Reddit's correct. God yeah. damn. Oh, Jesus. Like, Whoa. as soon as you read that, it, it was like just Reddit an epiphany. You were like, holy up. fuck, I always knew it, but now everyone knows it. <laughs> I don't Another Alistar game. So I think FlyQuest has this idea, like, the biggest deterrent to the enemy team picking Sivir is, like, they can't ban it. They don't, they don't want to ban it. They don't want to pick it into Draven. So maybe by like kind of flexing like, yo, we're playing Alistar, it makes the enemy team hesitate to pick Sivir since you can't spell shield Alistar's combo. It's a pretty decent counter, but at the end of the day, Hans doesn't give a fuck. And now... He doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. It's like, he do they ban a Felios? The first game Johnson played a Felios, he actually played pretty well. He was playing solid and if not just fucking play twitch and send it do it let's see them counter picks make sivir look like garbage no way johnson plays draven Vi no really Ew. no this is the fakest counter in the history of counters yeah that's absolute garbage. fakest and most outdated like season two counter to Sivir in the history of all 80 carry counter picks. Everyone, why not Bane? Just pick Bane, it's the counter. Dude, shut up, man. Every it's good over. player is so happy to play this matchup Sivir side. Isn't the idea you just push her in all game and she can't push? And even in trades, yeah. like honestly, even in a trade, Sivir just can win that. Like not every time, but like, if Bane tumbles in on Sivir, you just fucking lose that. True. You get your face caved in by Sivir Boomerang. Ooh, and auto Greggy. Ooh. I, I, I can I can say definitively the main way that Vayne wins the matchup against Sivir in any trade, any fight is you need to start the fight off by like autoing her from the bush and then get have your Q ready to like dodge your boomerang and everything needs to go pixel perfect. Yeah. For you. You, can't you really need to get hit by zero skill shots the whole time while starting off with a free auto attack. And in that case, which AD carry isn't going to win that trade against Sivir? Every fucking AD carry in the entire universe is going to win that trade if you're just starting off by hitting her for free. And you dodge everything. It's just, it's not a counter. The only advantage is just the boomerang's even harder to hit, even though it's already impossible. Yeah. You can hit both sides. For sure.
I will say, I think scaling wise, this game, it doesn't look too bad for FlyQuest. Like, even if the lane matchup's not good, like, Vayne's yeah, really good in Toronto Leona. Like, she just melts them. I remember uh, a pretty interesting clip I saw. I think it was a Chinese pro player talking about Vayne. Might have been. I don't think it was Uzi. It was probably someone else, but been they basically sneaky. just said something really, really obvious. It's like, you spend most of the game fighting minions and Vayne can't kill minions oh, so dude, that's why I, she sucks I, I fucking say that that I cringe my dick off fighting minions I'm just so upset I'm like I'm taking any fight bro like get me out of this wave <clears throat> yeah yeah in solo queue right like it, it's almost inverted it's like you probably spend a good chunk of the game maybe even majority of the game fighting champions but in competitive 90% of it is killing minions jungle camps neutral objectives and like Vayne is just never on time for those is there any so sad. is there any item option Vayne has that helps her farm like a hurricane or like like a static of, shiv like a Tiamat or hurricane type item or are they just two trolls I wish like they they're not good on her mm -hmm. that would actually be interesting I I almost want to try ravenous hydro or titanic titanic hydro on Vayne right titanic would make more sense than ravenous because then she's super tanky. Would you rush it though? Like that just sounds so fucking awkward. Just yeah, first right. item Titanic Hydra Vein out the gates. It, it's objectively troll, but like, I don't know. I mean, I mean it's like the lesser it. of two evils, right? Like an AD carry who can't farm is also a bit troll. Yeah, I mean, you and, just and I mean, I'm not saying just, it's worth you just, it. You just say fuck the wave and you fight. Mm. Yeah, that it's, sounds it's like a really winning funny. play. It's like. Okay, let's just like fucking reverse engineer how to make Vayne a good champ. Uh, by and it's true, like maybe <laughs> Titanic Hydra doesn't even sound that troll. <laughs> it's but that's just pick it up for AD. I agree with you that like incomplete information does add a level of skill, but like I think there are things where it's appropriate and things that it's not. And I, I think camp timer is like jungling is more fun if both people have them. Hmm. Yeah. Just you kill camps and you see when they come up. You do things around it. I mean, like you do it anyway, but you just don't have the literal timer. Mm -hmm. Wow, that makes can sense. Help, can help you be more calculated. Jose is getting and just the fact that like they already allow it in solo queue, so like just be consistent with it. Oh, Jose or not Jose? Philip is just so overextended right now. Behind his turret? Yikes, dude. Ooh. Is he gonna ult? Oh. Nah. I'm pretty sure you have to flash there first. You can't try to E and expect to not get pillared. Yeah. You can make him pillar and then E off of his pillar. Like more. Stopped by VLC? Oh my god, I just. You're right, that is the VLC logo. Where? Well, his uh, Camille E got interrupted by VLC media player. Uh oh, the fucking traffic cone. <laughs> I thought he was gonna ulti first, like ult and then do it, but nah, he <laughs> he actually trolled this really hard. Like he he hundred percent gets out here with just flash if he does it like a human. He freaked. He's probably not honestly played this interaction enough to know that his E can't even get cancelled by Trundle Pillar. Like, there, no shot. Everyone knows that. If he doesn't know no, that, I... he actually should not be a pro player. What? No, dude. Like, I what? think it's probably got. He's probably gotten away with that a million times, and Santorin is one of the few people who can. Eventually. How, I think how that's. I think that's a potential, like a real reason. I that, think like, that would mean he's actually a noob. Dude, he's like very fucking new to the game, and he's I it's mean, his first split. Yeah, that's still being a noob. <laughs> like, Jeez. I'm not saying I hate the guy. I'm not saying people can't Wait. make mistakes, but Phillip's dead. This is fucking oh Black West. God. Black West is about oh. to get oh. oh, oh, yikes! Oh, it's a slaughter! It's a slaughter! Yeah. That felt like that felt like pure desperation. Every lane's losing. Jungle's really behind. Just start the herald. But the enemy comp is just so much better than yours. Like, what what kind of ults do you have that are actually useful here? None. <laughs> Fucking vain ulti. 
The enemy team's like god tier team fight comp. Uh oh. Uh, like, this is sad. It's just three stomps in a row. Yep. Oh! The vein counter. <laughs> three autos. Holy shit. How often do you guys get trolled by random crits when you're farming so you miss last hits? Wow. Pretty often. Did you see Afro's flash combo there got interrupted yeah. by yeah. Charm by complete accident? Yeah. Holy that was shit. nice by Bjergsen. I actually don't know if they would have won the fight if he'd hits that because Jose was right there to, to combo with his knockup, but like I still don't know if they win that because Vayne is just so turbo shit at fighting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it three was autos on Gragas did nothing. Yeah. Useless. Champ. Vayne made you and you talk about her this way. <laughs> I wish that she was good. I think a lot of the old champs have these like really, really clunky ass kits that just feel awful. Yeah. I think like actually one huge problem with Tristana, for example, is that her dash is uh, is terrible. Like her her rocket jump is legit awful. It's would you prefer if it was? Would you prefer if it was faster, but then like you would and lose not... the way to like buffer things? Y yes, yes. Yeah, I would yeah. so much prefer that. A fast and responsive dash that every champ in the game has these days. And like what was the advantage for Vayne is like, oh my god, you can like buffer Leona's ult T. You can you can you can buffer fucking uh Alistair's combo. Whoa, so crazy. And it's like, oh wait, like every champ in the entire game can just dodge out of that now. There's just so much mobility. Like, Tristana's jump is actually trash. If Tristana just like had, that. like, a Lucian dash instead instead of what she has, she would instantly become a top tier to carry. Like, immediately. If she just had a, like, auto-reset dash slash just, like, responsive dash. Either one. Mm. That would be insane. But well, I, I, th I feel the same way about, like, Vayne's super old kit, Caitlyn's super old kit. They, like... They just got outpaced by everything else. Yeah, I mean, they've That's been why... doing a decent job, like, updating them. Like, I think the Ari update was pretty good for that. Yeah, it, it, it does seem like new new champion, like, power creep is real. Because, like, if you think about what's being played right now, it's Sivir, rework champion. So she's basically a new champion. And Zeri, brand new champion. Okay, what's the next tier? It's, like, Aphelios. And then Jinx got massive buffs from Arcane, unironically. <laughs> Bad so, chest. Yeah, it's, like, Jinx, Aphelios. Those are a pretty new champ and a pretty recently massively buffed champ. Uh, not really seeing the fucking old guard come out anymore, like Ash, Barris, Jin, Caitlyn. None of that. Yeah. I'm struggling to see how... Well, okay, okay let me look at some bright sides for FlyQuest, because there's a 90% chance that TL is just going to stomp this game. Bane's not that behind in farm. That's good. Uh, I probably would have won Kraken Slayer this game, because you're team's getting shit stomped you probably need damage but uh he, he probably built their bam scepter super early and didn't know they were gonna lose so that's okay they do scale that's a plus i don't know what else jose de Odo is smiling that's massive <laughs> team morale copium Ooh. true man it it's actually wild how Philip like did so well game one, and then he just been getting blasted. Yep. I think that is just being a new player in a, in a playoff series, right? Like being able to shake it off. It's not. I wonder if any of it was like maybe Wipo was being super disrespectful against uh, Philip at first. Yeah. And now after the first game, he's like, "All right, fuck, I'm gonna take him seriously." Yeah. Or he just didn't know that specific matchup that well. And Philip did, but I was about to say that Philip was level nine while Vayne was level ten. Not a good look. He, he just <laughs> hit level ten, so he just caught up. But usually, yeah. AD carry and top laner should be very far away in XP. I don't even know what Philip can do in lane against Gragas. Past a certain point, like you're actually just getting shit on. Like he can't do anything against either solo lane, so he just doesn't get to farm anymore. Why doesn't he just go mid to pick up that cannon, bro? Oh. Because then Johnson would chat, be chat tilted. Agrees. 
Uh, Johnson can just go bot lane. Nope. No way. No mm -hmm. way. Don't go, Philip. Don't go. Ooh, instant Gragasaur. Wow. Philip's dead. Yep. Oh man. Desperation, man. It's super Total desperate. Desperation. Six K gold oh. down. That's a real Nothing's to happened. Watch. I think you TL know, it, should start fucking around some. Oh wait, what the no fuck? No way. That was weird. Flash combo by Afro got interrupted by Bipo's E. And then he got pushed over the wall? Huh. Yeah, that was weird. Wait, actually, what happened there? What? I oh, don't know, some what weird happened? interaction the between the... Through. It's like the headbutt and the body slam at the same time. I don't know. There's so much invisible pressure in this game. One of them is that LeBlanc and Bane cannot clear creeps. Neither can Camille, to be honest. All three of these champs are horrible at killing minions, so... <laughs> Wait, they it have feels like Team Liquid just has so clear. much free time. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. That That's like a super fucking party foul. It's, it's so rare. I feel like I never even think about it anymore. Because generally you have something, but yeah, they... Actually have none. That's wild. Actually? Actually. I mean, what, yeah, what champs are even viable that don't have wave clear? There's so few of them. Draven. He's like the only one. He just does overwhelming damage, so like he... Yeah. He does okay at killing minions. He can ult the wave like, too. mid-top jungle or what? Yeah, I mean, just like in general, like meta champs that don't have good wave clear. Like, I mean, mid would probably be the main one that wave clears, right? Because there's like mages and shit. Yeah. yeah. But I guess uh, LeBlanc is an exception. Yeah, LeBlanc is probably one of the only. And Silas kind of has shitty wave clear. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just randomly thought of something of like, what if uh, League had custom games where people could design their own champs and you could play like the community's broken ideas? I would <laughs> love it. I would for sure play like community custom games for League. I, I, that's always been one of my biggest like. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Oh. Okay. I, I guess disappointments with League is that, like, they very deliberately made the choice to, like, not support, like, map editing or custom games or anything. Yeah. And, like, their reasoning makes sense. Like, I understand why they did it, but it's just, you know, it's a shame. What was the reasoning? I mean, they, they don't want any mode outside of, like, just the actual League to be most popular. Like, they want Summoner's Rift to be what League is all about. And because, you know, they've seen what's happened with other games when you allow custom games. Like, this one, this whole, like, genre was off of Warcraft 3 custom games, right? Like, Dota? Yeah. That'd be fucking funny. They allowed custom games. And then a new genre that, similar to MOBA, comes up that becomes the most popular genre. Yeah, I mean, that's they, like the natural like, evolution. They, themselves in the foot. Oh. Wait. I, I do oh, think wait. that's not, like, oh... Holy this shit. This is good. He's gonna kill. This is a good yeah. play. Johnson is actually doing damage. Here, I thought like, he was can allergic. Can continue? Mm, I don't think so. Looks like they're getting Sivir cleaved quite hard. Uh, guys? Who called to keep going? Who called uh. to keep going there? Somebody. GG. Oh. Stop watching. And so Bjergsen lives? Holy shit. Yikes. Yep, somebody clearly said... Nice, we this. Go, 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 go. Oh. Go, go, go. They're throwing. I, okay, I guess the the problem with the custom game thing would be like monetization on it. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, dude. Yeah, you're not making any money on that. I mean, it, I guess it's just something it's, that like games in the past had not necessarily to try to make money, right? But just for like, I don't know, like Fun. the just the passion of, of like creating games, like. It's, I feel like a lot of game designers nowadays probably got their start playing like Halo Forge or like Warcraft 3 Map Editor, right? Yeah. So just like creating Halo a tool Forge? for like... Huh? Forge. Uh... Forge. Oh, Halo Forge. Forge. I thought you it's said like the Halo map editor. 4. I'm like, what the fuck? Who played that game? What's, mm -hmm. What was even Halo 4 about? I don't remember. <laughs> so I think like a lot of cool things could have came from it if they made it, but like I guess they figured from a business perspective it wasn't worth it.
kind of sad, yeah, but whatever. It, it does make sense from that angle. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not I, totally I think convinced. Spawning a new game would be fine, but like the monetization part does get negated. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to I, say I, though. I, I think it's really funny. Like a lot of people talk about how like oh back in the day the developers weren't as greedy. It's like dude, if if it was acceptable for them to do it, they to they totally would have been like this whole like microtransaction and like higher level unlockable tiers of oh yeah like that, that model just wasn't a thing back then if it was you totally would have gotten fucking extracted from blizzard they just didn't know about it yet yeah yeah but i mean like it's still you know when when they made warcraft 3 like they didn't need to make a, a map editor for it right like they yeah. didn't make any money off that they just did it because it'd be cool just thought it'd be cool yeah, yeah be fun well i i, I do think there's like they they wanted to sell as much of their game as possible to make money so that was part of like the reason why the map editor existed it was cool though i agree i, yeah, I just don't think there was like this super altruistic like oh man the developers didn't care about money back in the day <laughs> they they just did it for no, 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 love yeah. of gaming it's like i think they're just I, trying to sell their feature. game yeah yeah Dude, if every game was was like back and forth, that would've been sick. But it was just limp dick. Three games in a row. Yeah, tri triple fucking stomp. It was game weird. one started like it was gonna be a good series, and something must have happened. Dude, only a genius, handsome devil of a man could have predicted three one TL. Am I right, guys? Yeah. What'd you write down, Medios? You said you'd hold her. I said three one TL. Let's fucking go, Medios. Three. Wow, he's smart. I'm like 100% in playoffs predictions. Just saying. Nice, dude. Whippo, no clipping on Gragas. Let's watch. Wait, I think you're right on what happened there. That's weird. If so, that's kind of big because that would mean it was the first time I was right about something. And you were wow. so generous to not spoil every viewer on the result of the series. That was such a well-coordinated bow. Where's Bjergsen's glasses? He's blind as hell. He says I can't fucking see. Is he nocturnal? Can't see, can't yeah. see, can't see, can't see, can't see. I'm blind. You're sure your glasses are on. Oh. You're not nocturnal, dude. Was it Bjergsen looking over at my monitor to see if I was winning the Ward 1v1? <laughs> <laughs> or is he giving you the weird champ? <laughs> <laughs> Bjergsen actively gave me a weird chip in game <laughs> after I lost a Mord 1v1. Actually pathetic. Why didn't you win the Mord 1v1? Oh, I think Caitlyn absolutely dominates Mord in the Shadow Realm. Just trap him. What can he do? It's just like fucking Yugi versus Pegasus, man. Super advantaged in the Shadow Realm.